Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and this is the channel where I talk all things toys and dolls. Today, it's time for another Shadow High Series 2 unboxing. This time, we have Miss Zoe Electra, or Zooey, not sure how to say her name. We're gonna call her Zoe, because Zooey's weird. <laughs> but here she is. She is absolutely beautiful. Her skin tone is my favorite color, like, hands down. She's so good. And here she is. There's her box art on the side there. Her outfit, she's got this like space theme to her. Super fun, super fun. She has a laptop, a um, beverage of some sort. I believe it's probably coffee. And then a phone case and a phone. The side here says she is a fashion design focus. Are they just all fashion design focuses? I feel like they must be. And the last new box art here is Miss Zoe and Dia Monte on the back. Really, really cute. I love them together. I think they look really nice. But you guys know the drill by now. I'm going to get Zoe out and I will be right back. Okay, here's Miss Zoe's box art. So in the red is the one that we already saw through the box. And we have this really pretty one up here in the purple. I love that artwork. She looks so beautiful. And then down in the bottom, she's given the peace sign there. So she is adorable. I love, 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 love this new box art. I know a lot of people aren't super stoked about it because it means we're getting less outfits, but I for one am okay with it because it makes my want for two dolls less. <laughs> so, cause like right now all these dolls, they have second outfits and I want more of them so that I can dress them in those second outfits. These I don't have that feeling for. I don't know what Jewel's doing. Ignore Jewel. <laughs> but anyway, back to Zoe. So she's got two hangers in this pretty mint green color, which again is my all-time favorite color. She has, this is unscrew. I feel like this comes off, maybe not. It does twist, but it doesn't come off. But this case um, says shadow sassy on it it's meant to kind of look like nasa and it's just like a thermos that's got some beverage in it her phone case is clear with crescent moons and sh on it and then here's the back of her phone it's that pretty mint color and then she is looking at novi stars on the front here which is super super fun i'm hoping hoping that this means that there's just a chance for a Novi Stars reboot because unfortunately I never collected the Novi Stars when they first came out and I would absolutely love to change that. And then she also comes with a um, note, not a note, what is this called? A tab, no gosh, a laptop in the same mint green color and then it says Commander with the um, mascot for the, what are they called? Harley's band, Neon Shadow, the Neon Shadow logo, and then this kind of black triangle with a moon in it. On the inside is that same Novi Stars girl, and it looks like she's designing her. So, I don't know, it says fashion design focus, but I looked and all of the boxes say fashion design focus, so I'm wondering if they just didn't fix that, because I feel like she's a graphics art design focus, but I could be wrong, but anyway. Moving on to the Peace Day Resistance, Miss Zoe. Just, just look at her. She's so pretty. <laughs> this doll, I had to stop myself from just staring at her and actually film this, but oh my god, she's so good. I, again, love her skin tone. She's got these white circles above her eyebrows that are not necessary, but absolutely adorable. She's got baby hairs. You guys know I love the baby hairs. Um, her eye makeup is really, really good. It's pink underneath with this really pretty iridescent sparkly blue up top. She has brown eyes with black and white liner. And then the pink lip. The pink, this baby pink color on this mint green is just amazingly beautiful. I love it so much. Her earrings, I, I really like them. I think they're meant to be some sort of like tool, something to do with space probably. I feel like I've seen this in a chemistry class before, but I don't know what it's meant to be, and I could probably be sounding really stupid right now, but I think it's some sort of tool or instrument, I guess, but it's really cool nonetheless. Her jacket 
is so cool. I'm going to take her jacket off, actually, so I can show it to you better in detail. Let's see here. Because it is really, really awesome. It's like a astronaut coat. Um, which, I feel like for a minute there was like a huge space theme, but I feel like that was like several years ago. My conception of time is very poor. But, anyway. Here's her jacket. There is a shadow high tag inside. It feels really nice. It's really heavy and dur dur durable <laughs> is the word I'm looking for. There is like a little faux cinch back here. Same triangle that says shadow and it has almost like the Disney logo right there, which is weird. Um, then on the side, we have another triangular patch that says shadow, a Novi Stars patch, more Novi Star references, and another circle that says shadow, a, what does that say? A circle that says eclipse on this pocket here. This is a real pocket. You can put something in there. There's a tag hanging from it that's red that says shadow. And then on this side, we have that same symbol. I don't know what this symbol is, but it shows up a lot on her. 22. And then the commander with the neon shadow mascot again. Another shadow here and sassy. It's a super, super cute. Really, this is one of my favorite pieces. Probably my favorite jacket of all time from Rainbow or Shadow High. I really like it. And this is what she's wearing underneath the jacket. So again, we have another Novi Stars reference. Someone who knows stuff about Novi Stars, let me know if this character is real or not because I'm kind of getting the vibe that it's not an actual Novi Stars character. And maybe she's like designing the next one. That would be dope, but I could be wrong. And then her skirt is really, really cute. It's the same color as her skin tone, and it's got these, like, pleats here. Not pleats, splits here. And then these three lines with silver clasps that go just on the sides. And then the back is plain. Her nails are that same length where they're kind of long, but not, like, insanely long. And they're just a deeper teal green. She's not wearing pants because she has a skirt. And then her socks are like this metallic-y silver iridescent color. Her shoes, you guys, are my favorite shoes of all time. They're so cute. The ties are literal like extension cord plug-in things and it looks very like mosaic in her heel here. Like there's a lot of detail in these shoes and it's so, so good. I really, really like it. Her hair, you guys might not love. Um, it does have a lot of tinsel. I don't mind tinsel. I actually enjoy tinsel. I think it looks really pretty. Um, there is like no product in her hair whatsoever. It feels really nice. I can run my fingers all the way through it and have no problems. So I love that. And then she does have these three like coily space buns up top that are adorable. Yeah, overall she's just gorgeous. <laughs> she's gonna be a tough one to beat in my opinion like not just for shadow high series 2 but like all of rainbow slash shadow high like she's good <laughs> so i'm trying to put her jacket back on here so i can give you the final look but i'm not good at dressing dolls it's been literally years since i've dressed dolls i don't change my dolls ever like what they come in is what they stay in and i display them that way i do want to do some customs like i have a whole three Georgia note full of doll clothes from like the extras of all these dolls and I do really want to do like a restyle but for that I would need to purchase extra dolls and right now <laughs> that is not a feasible thing considering how many launches are coming out right now so maybe in the future we'll find a random doll for like super cheap gosh this is hard her one arm went in just fine and then the second arm was just like mm, nah I'd rather not Okay, got her in. Let me put her on her stand. You guys hear me struggling hardcore? <laughs> this jacket is very, very thick and it doesn't really want to go on the stands. I'm not gonna lie, but you can kind of force it to. Or I guess you could take the jacket off and display her that way, but the jacket is just like the best part. So I feel like it has to be in there. I just dropped her earring. Cool. I'm never going to find that. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I'm going to go spend an hour trying to find her earring. <laughs> and that is it for Miss Zoe. 
Let me know what you think of her down below and who your favorite Series 2 Shadow High Doll is so far. All that fun stuff. Don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future unboxings. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.